Now turning to the inflation tracker, the rising price of pretty much everything has been affecting people all over from the cost of housing to the price of food. And it was detailed in the Rhode Island budget proposal. Target 12 consumer investigator Sarah Grinelli has more on what the state has proposed and how it could impact you. Sarah. Mike, we've been following this closely, how inflation is affecting everyone in Rhode Island, especially for those who are looking for a home. The budget proposal presented today. Addressing the housing crisis is a priority for state leaders in Rhode Island. In Governor Dan McKee's latest budget proposal unveiled Thursday, he's seeking funds for an additional 21 full-time employees to work at the newly created Department of Housing. This is also the organization that will be charged with overseeing the $250 million of state fiscal recovery fund for housing initiatives at all income levels. Brian Daniels, director of the Office of Management and Budget, says they're seeking an additional $30 million for homeless shelters, where advocates say that there aren't enough beds for the second winter in a row. The goal is eventually permanent housing, something Mercedes Patience said last year she struggled to find. But I've been looking for a new place for almost a year and a half now. The median price of a single family home grew 18% last fiscal year, according to the state budget. And state officials predict housing prices could continue to be volatile throughout 2023, with prices increasing slowly in the spring but picking up again in the second half of the year. 12 News has been following the housing trend closely, and it's affected many throughout the state. I always say I'm glad I bought when I did uh, because I couldn't afford anything now. I couldn't afford rent now. I, I don't think I could afford rent anywhere in Rhode Island. So the proposed budget also predicts inflation will come down to 2.9% in the fiscal year beginning in July. This is the Federal Reserve continues to boost interest rates to slow spending. Sarah Cornelli, 12 News.